Hi guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing great and welcome to my YouTube channel. I can finally say that. So today's topic is about the question I've been asked recently a lot of times. Like, Siddhi, should I go for Facebook boost post or should I go for Facebook ads manager, which is more complicated, which is more simpler. So here I am to answer all your questions. So let's get into it. Tools and Facebook Ads Manager have the same motive for us to run ads and reach out to our audiences in a very nicer way. So the answer to your question dip actually depends on what you expect out of it. Yes, you heard me right. So if you guys are looking for likes, shares and comments and you just want social proof out there but you're not expecting a sale and just want a lot of people to have eyes on it and you want your brand to be out there, you can go for Facebook Boost Post Tool. You can run ads for that directly from your Facebook page. You don't need an ads account or a Facebook business manager account. You can run the post post directly from your Facebook page. That's it. You just need a Facebook page. You put a post out there. You can select the button which comes there like Facebook boost post tool. Click on that and you get to choose the audience you want to target. You get to choose the budget. You get to choose how many days you want to run the boost post. And there you go. It's very simple. It's actually made for beginners out there who are looking to boost posts and want to reach out to their audiences. And you know, people who think it's not their cup of tea or just for beginners, you can go in for that. Like I, You can go in for that if you think you're just a beginner and it's not your cup of tea and you just want eyes out there, social proof, you can opt in for that. But coming to Facebook Ads Manager, it's a very structured platform out there. You have a lot of objectives, you have audience insights, you have events manager, pixels, everything to be taken care of out there. So I always choose Facebook Ads Manager on that side because I get to control my ads out there. In Facebook Boost Post Tools, I don't get that much control in running my ads. And particularly when you're running Facebook Boost Post Tool, you're actually telling Facebook like, hey, just go out to the people, reach out to multiple people out there who are gonna likely like, share and comment on my picture. But I can't expect a sale out of it. You can just reach out to people who have similar interests, who can like, share and comment and follow my page and give me a thumbs up. That's it. I can't expect much out of it. And even if I'm running that kind of ad or a boost post, I need to see where my money is going. So I highly recommend for you guys to go for Facebook Ads Manager. Put in that extra effort and just see how it works and analyze what you can do and what objective you should go for. So here I am right now on Facebook Ads Manager. If you can see, there are three sections out here of objectives. There are total 11 objectives out here. Firstly, in the first section, there's brand awareness and reach. In the second section, there is six out there and in the last one, there are three. So if you could see, if you can understand how it works, I would explain you in a brief way how these objectives works. On the first end, we have brand awareness and reach. Brand awareness and reach, I would use particularly when I'm running ads for a local business or just a business is starting out online. So for example, I'm running ads for a restaurant and I'm coming up with an offer for Valentine's Day. So I want to know people out there, like I want to let people know out in that particular area or in that particular city that this restaurant is coming up with an offer where you get buy one get one free on some drink or some something of that sort so i just want to let people know that hey this particular restaurant is on and is going is gonna have this offer on that particular day and i just want to let people know about it so i'm gonna run ads like brand awareness and reach as the objective so how are the different brand awareness will reach to a, one particular person multiple times but reach has a higher frequency so it depends on what kind maybe I just for go brand awareness and then on the second day I might just change the objective to reach reach is just different in a way where it reaches to multiple people like it has a higher frequency but brand awareness might reach to one person a multiple times so what I'm gonna expect out of it is just gonna be like shares and comments even not that maybe but also like I am gonna know like how many people have seen my ad how many people have reacted to my ads and also if it's a video ad I can see what kind of percentage of the video they have seen so that's the thing I would run when I'm running for a restaurant or a salon or something of that sort so second section out here is consideration that it has six objectives out here so basically when i want a lot of people to come onto my website or my e-commerce store and i want them to come to my facebook ads click on the call to action and come onto my website store i'm directly gonna choose the objective that's called traffic because that's basically you're telling facebook like hey get the amount of people who are interested in this interest 
and who are likely to click on the call to action and come on to my website, my store or a funnel. So I'm gonna use that. So basically I use traffic, you know, when I'm testing out my funnel and I wanna know that how my headline is working, how my copy is working, how my funnel is working, how my BSL is working, I would highly go for traffic. to Just to get in that people at a very lesser price and to see how it works out, I will go for traffic ad. Basically running Facebook like I want a lot of views on my website so get me those people by using this objective. Second over here is engagement like engagement is completely similar to boost posts. If I want a lot of social proof out here and I want people to come and like share and comment I would go for social engagement and if you select say, social engagement out here you're gonna see there are three options out here page likes post event and post engagement so over here what it means is you can select what can be the conversion and where can be the conversion so if I select page likes people are gonna go and like my page over there so the call to action is gonna be to like my page so directly on the ad if I give a button and people click on that button it's directly gonna give me a like on my page so if I want a lot of page likes I'm gonna run this ad Secondly, if I want a lot of engagement and social proof on my social post, on my Facebook post, which is not a post on my website or it's on my page, but it's just an ad I'm running right now and I want social proof over there, I can choose that and I'll get multiple likes, share and comment over there. So that's what I'm saying. If you guys are looking for boosting your post as well, I would recommend you guys to go for social engagement that's there on Facebook Ads Manager because you can control every aspect of it. You can control who you're targeting, you can control what is the budget, you can control how much, how many people have seen it. You can control the budget and you can change the copy ad creators a multiple times. And that's one benefit I want to tell you guys. In boost posts, you can't edit your post. Once the post is out there, you can't edit it. But in Ads Manager, you can have multiple ad sets, you can target multiple people simultaneously, you can have multiple ad copies, you can have multiple ad videos out there, images, and you can test out which copy, which post, which video is working out. So if you guys are in the dilemma, I would recommend you guys to put in that extra effort and go and create an ad account and go for Facebook Ads Manager. So that's engagement, guys. Okay? That's the objective you need if you want to replace from base boost post. If you don't want to replace, that's your call but I recommend you guys to replace that and go for engagement that's a really good option and you can control that's the main importance about that okay next thing over here is lead generation when I want to generate leads for my customer I would go for lead generation like you know I can just create a lead form inside Facebook and the leads are generally gonna come inside of Facebook I can go into publishing tools on my page and they can download all the leads I don't have to send them to external website I can have leads generated in Facebook itself next thing over here is app installs if the name is pretty clear if I want a lot of app installs and I'm running a ad for a fitness app or a food app basically the object is gonna be here like I'm telling Facebook like people who have more potential about clicking and downloading the app run ads to them in that particular interest and niche uh, another thing over here would be um messages when i want to run and convert my sale or i want to convert my customers on my messenger chat i would run messages as the objective where i can convert them and once they click on the call to action they directly end up on my messages like my messenger chat or my messenger bot so that's one of the objects so the third section is the most important one and which is gonna get you return that's the conversion section which is pretty clear which means that you're telling facebook like go and get me set of people who are likely to convert on my website my store and on my funnel so conversions can be on different aspects like lead purchase add to cart initial checkout and various objects out there when for example when i'm running ads for a webinar I want people to come on to my funnel and give me a lead my conversion is gonna be lead or complete registration that means I'm telling Facebook like go and run the ads to the particular people who have given a lead previously and are more likely to give me a lead in my funnel as well so that's a pretty answer for that second one over here is catalog sale which is pretty specific for e-commerce stores we can entirely integrate all our products from our website to to Facebook shops and over here what's gonna happen is all your pr products are gonna come in collections out here so you would have wondered like when you enter into a website or an e-commerce store and you go into a particular collection or a particular product page and you don't end up purchasing that product once you come out of that store and you go on to 
Instagram or Facebook, you see that you see a catalog out there of the same product which you didn't purchase and other collections as well. So over here, that's how catalog sales work. You are actually getting retargeted by a pixel out there, which is retargeting you based on which collection you went and based on which product you didn't purchase. So that's how catalog sales work. So it's gonna retarget you based on the pixel, which is really important out here. Third is store visits, which is really not used much. It basically you want to run ads for your physical store out there which is generally a conversion which you want to make in real time so that's not most used but that's the information about it so here i am guys with all the information i have regarding boost and facebook ads manager as i told you i highly recommend you guys to go for facebook ads manager because you get the control out here in one singular tab you get all the information about how many people have spent how many people have seen the video how many people have seen what percentage of the video how many people you reached impressions all that as well and also you get to test out various copies various ad sets various audiences videos images everything you get a broader idea about it even if you're a beginner I know you have tried a lot and you want to still go for boost post but I recommend you guys put in that extra effort and go on to YouTube or any other platform or just make an ad account by yourself using YouTube and understand how as manager work is pretty clear and I've given you a very brief understanding and actually not even a brief I've given you in-depth understanding about all the objectives with examples as well so I hope it's very clear out guys go and get that control over it even if it is not your niche and even if it's, you think you're not gonna go become an expert in Facebook ads but you just want to reach out your audiences I would recommend you guys go into Facebook ads manager and do it it's really profitable you get to see a very broader analysis out of it so here i am guys thank you so much for watching the video so if you guys have any doubts regarding instagram and facebook ads you can directly connect to me on instagram and facebook using the social links which are provided on my channel art and if you guys have any questions regarding this video or if you guys want any more content from me in specific you can comment or you can dm me directly so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more guys have a great day Bye bye